Now, I'm slightly perplexed by Suella Braverman's obsession with number one, Rwanda, and number two, the Albanians crossing the channel. I think the Rwanda thing is mistaken, but I've spent so much time explaining why I think that is mistaken. As for the Albanians crossing the channel, although we are well aware that even Eddie Rama, the Albanian premier, is aware that there is an Albanian problem and that this has moved from Germany to France to Britain, the at least 50% of the Albanians who have applied for asylum in the UK have been granted asylum. So the majority of those who are coming over to the UK are perfectly legitimate. The idea that there is a torrent of illegal Albanian migration is simply not true, number one. And number two, where is the evidence of this illegality? It would have to be from the rejected applications for asylum or from the innumerable people who have no visas, no passports and whose permission to stay in this country has been firmly rejected, who have been told to leave the country. It cannot be because of the way that they arrived, because that in itself does not make somebody an illegal immigrant. So Ella Braverman is pursuing populist policies which are completely unfounded in fact. And they're unfounded in fact because she hasn't got the bureaucratic details to hand because they don't exist, because there aren't enough people to process all the asylum applications that have come through, because there is a backlog this high which needs to be slowly sifted through. So. If somebody wants to do something in the present government, and I do recommend that they do, because I think the idea of illegal immigration is something we should probably pursue and stop. If somebody wants to deal with this, then they need to deal with the backlog of applications. Or, if we simply want to say we're no longer going to take asylum applications, then we need to get on to the United Nations. We need to assemble a convention and go through that 1951 agreement that we signed and in fact that we largely proposed and wriggle out of it but we can't just make up our own mind and decide sort of on impulse that we're not going to accept people who have arrived on our shores that isn't correct and it's got nothing to do with whether we want brexit or not the brexit conversation was diverted by a rather nasty group of people and probably was predictably diverted by a rather nasty group of people who had a racist agendum. They may have, may have indeed had more than one, in which case they would have had racist agenda. And where did that come from? Well, I'm not completely convinced it didn't come from UKIP itself because as I observed in UKIP, UKIP was riddled with racism. Now, I'm not suggesting for one minute that Mr Farage himself was racist, but he certainly didn't do anything to stop it. Indeed, he dismissed the racism that I observed as just a joke. Well, you know, something is not just a joke if it causes offence.